y'all welcome back to my channel i have another episode of naked with jay where we get vulnerable talking about life and relationships and i have two <laughs> special guests i have known them for almost 15 years it'll be 15 years coming up mm -hmm. <laughs> And I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Sarah. Hello, I'm Janelle. <laughs> and these are two of my bestest friends. Yeah. <laughs> we have been so close ever since what? Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Ninth grade. Oh, nine. 2009. That's crazy. Who can say that? <laughs> <laughs> Who can say that? This <laughs> But for real. <laughs> Who can say they can maintain a friendship for that long? 15 Not years? That's a long time. Not a lot of people. That's for sure. Do the ups and downs. Do the ups and the downs. Do the annoying. and the lows. Do the annoying and the lows. Do Defining characteristic is mm. I think you're ambitious. Okay. You're goal oriented. You're actually really gentle, even though you're a little aggressive. <laughs> if that makes sense. I agree with Sarah. <clears throat> the ambition, um, you know, goal oriented. Um, you're persistent. Like when you put your mind to something, like you you get it done. Like, <laughs> Did you describe me to a stranger? I would say, without a doubt, okay. no, without a doubt, your life of the party. Okay. Like I like that. Me no, too. definitely the life that of the party. That is a perfect description. It's like when Sarah walks in, yeah. <laughs> the tune gets a little louder, <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Wrong with that. I agree. What you got to say? I agree. I feel like you are literally the life of the party. I, I feel like I would describe you as somebody that will be able to connect with anybody. Mm -hmm. Like, 100%. don't feel nervous. Don't feel shy. Like, she will be able to connect with you and find something about you that she likes. I agree with that. You're personable. Personable. You can make conversation yes. with anybody. Personable. Very personable. Personable. <laughs> That's my word for you. <laughs> Life of the party and personable. Oh, well, why? Why did I get this? Because Everything Sarah is going to eat this up. Mm, Sarah's going to eat this I'm up. I'm ready. What would make you feel closer to me? Oh, my <laughs> God. Come here, Joy. Mind you, we've been friends for almost 15 years. And, like, real friends, not like... Like, real friends. Not like TV friends. Yeah, like actual friends. Like highs and lows. Like this our creed. Like, we all live here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for my customized key holder. Okay. So we got customized parking passes, but everybody can use them, so it's not really custom. <laughs> wow, this is a good question. This is like a really vulnerable question. Mm -hmm. We've I talked wish, and we've talked about this. Before. That's what I was saying. We just talked about this like the last, last time we was here. We sitting at the table. I think that um. What would make me feel closer to you is I think if you are more open about how you feel mm -hmm. and what you're going through. I think like all of us 
we are very like private people mm-hmm. and we talk about our we talk about our problems we talk about stuff but it's like after the fact mm-hmm. like i feel like i would feel closer to you if you reached out in the moment, the moment. Like when, when shit hits the fan yeah so that like we could help you mm-hmm. and support that. you <clears throat> in the moment instead of being like Oh my God, why did you have to go through that by yourself? Right. Even though we know you're not by yourself, you have a great like support system mm-hmm. and all that. But that would make me feel closer that I could be there to support you through. I feel that. <clears throat> I actually agree with you. Um, we kind of, again, talked about this like last time we were here. Um, like We're all private, but you're the most private, mm-hmm. I feel like. Which isn't a bad thing, because that teaches us to be a little bit more private than we were beforehand. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? My love language is physical touch. <laughs> there she goes. There she goes. So though I want to be loved by people touching me, i.e. she be touching me. It's fine. Yeah. Let me touch you. Let me hug you. Like, <laughs> when we see each other, let's say I love you and let's hug. We say I love you. Also. We do, but you don't hug me. I do hug you. Okay, so let me give y'all a little background, okay? <laughs> so, we have Janelle, who is... Not as affectionate as Sarah. Sarah shows her love through affection. Janelle shows her love through showing up. Like she will be there, but she's not like the touchy feely person. Like she is like one extreme and she's the other extreme. So it like. Yeah. That's perfect. Right? But do you like, I think like that she's that? working I on it? I feel like she likes it. Like. I think you she, like her, like wanting to. She want if she didn't do that, I feel like you would think there was a problem. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't say that I like it. Mm-hmm. I say I tolerate it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah. Do I love you? She's a little. She's like, I love you. Like damn. Yes. Is. Two extremes, and maybe there. Uh, but I think that's why that works for us because we're me and her are totally opposite. She's like private and not touchy feely. I'm an oversharer, and I'm touchy feely. But because she's so private, it teaches me like what I need to know. Like, okay, you know what? You need to be a little bit more private. But because I'm an oversharer, I don't know. It teaches her to share, but that's the goal. But me and her. It's just kind of like the same person back to back. Mm-hmm. But she has boundaries. She actually like, she don't overly touch Janelle. Kind of the same person, but with like a little bit of like difference. So, mm-hmm. ends up working for us. I feel like I just feed off of people's energy. Mm-hmm. Like, if you don't want to be touched, I'm not about to touch you. <laughs> and not to say that I don't touch her. I said she has boundaries, <laughs> I don't. <touch> her. <laughs> It's not that I don't touch her. Like, I would definitely hug her and definitely, you know what I'm saying? But I know her personality, so I just respect that. And Mm -hmm. Sarah, on the other hand. I'm like, hi. (laughs) I miss you. She's like, okay, stop touching me. I'm like, but I miss you. Come here. Let me show you that I miss you, that I love you. But I also don't require that. Like, I don't require being touched Mm -hmm. either. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not not my love language. Physical touch is probably fourth on my list. Really? Mm -hmm. What's your love language? I could. I actually could not tell that. Because even when I'm not touching you... I'm affectionate, but physical touch is not my love language. But I think that you're, like... I touch you as much as I do because you touch me as much as you do. Mm-hmm. But it's usually like not like when we're sober. It's usually when we're drunk. Where you like we'll mm-hmm. be like, oh hey girl, and I'm like oh okay. Mm-hmm. We'll be in the club I'm affectionate. Yeah. I feel like I'm affectionate, but I'm just just not my love language. I'm not like oh my gosh, she's not touching me. She doesn't love me. Mm-hmm. Okay, you know? understandable. Or, I think quality mm-hmm. time might be like a quality in the top time. for all of us. Though. Yeah, quality time is definitely. definitely. How do you feel like? love languages play a part in friendships because everybody talks about it in the sense of like relationships relationships, Mm -hmm. but you don't even think about it in the sense of friendship but they do play a part Mm -hmm. what are they touch Uh words of information Mm -hmm. gifts and acts of service and acts of service definitely quality time for me quality time is at the top i I can choose quality time over um physical touch and that says a lot but like when we do things, like, when we <laughs> do lot. things like this, it makes me feel like I'm loved, I'm appreciated because I get to spend time with people that I actually care about. I've told y'all this before, but um, 
there's like I know y'all have seen the meme or whatever on social media where it's like little do my friends know every time we hang out they're healing me mm-hmm. yeah. and like I, I really feel that like like that is how I feel like when I'm with y'all like when mm-hmm. I hang out with y'all it's like it being with y'all like it just it just heals me every time and like that's why I think quality time is just like mm-hmm. my number one when it comes to friendships um, it's definitely at the top of my list for sure I, I agree too. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't want to come here today. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't. I was just having like a overwhelming a bad day. Week. No, yes. my week was just overwhelming, and I really just wanted to be like left alone. Mm-hmm. But when I put something in my calendar now, then I'm gonna do it. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I know that once I get with y'all, it's going to change like how I feel about everything that I'm going through. Even though I can't really like put into words, like I know that. The way that you guys touch me just makes me feel like, okay, it, life is really okay. Like, things are going to be okay. But it's just the type of friendship that I have with you guys. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, that's why I didn't fight coming. Because it's like, I know that it's going to be a good day. We've, ne- we've never got together and linked. And we were like, yeah. damn. Right. This the worst yeah. fucking shit. I ain't never, you know what I yeah. mean? And I Every feel, single time we're like, bet. Can't wait to see you next week. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like I look forward to it. Like, yeah. literally, like... I've been having a rough couple of weeks and it's just like, I cannot wait for me to just, it's like almost like an escape. Mm-hmm. Like you could go somewhere, be your complete self. There's no expectations. There's just like love yeah. mm-hmm. and just, you could Good be vibes, your, yes, energy. and you could just be yourself. Mm-hmm. Like with no judgment. When I tell you like no judgment at all, you could be at your lowest point. Mm-hmm. And you're we're all just like goofy as hell. Yes. <laughs> we didn't cry about 30 times today. Like, <laughs> laugh crying. Laugh like, crying. Not sad crying. Laugh yes. crying. Like, about the most random shit that happened through the day. Like, yeah. Today was a journey. Yeah. It's like when I'm going through a rough week, it's like, all who you don't be like, we need a girl's night. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Like, when you going through a rough time, like, mm. Let me second them real quick. What are they doing? Gonna, you know that's going to always change everything. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like a reset almost. It is. And I like how you said that it's kind of like an escape because it really is. Like mm-hmm. We kind of get together and it's like, this is our own little world mm-hmm. where we always feel safe. We always feel comfortable. Like Again, we can be exactly who we are with no judgment, no care. Like mm-hmm. You're going to deal with me however I am. Because yes. yes. She going to fall asleep. <laughs> she going to talk a lot. I'm going to get loud. She gonna fall asleep. We gonna be here till four o'clock. And in the we morning. gonna be talking till four o'clock in the morning. Um, the one thing I'm gonna do is fall asleep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why do you think we met? I really feel like everything happens for a reason, and like God's planning and God's timing is always bigger than what we could ever imagine. And we not friends with everybody we was friends with like mm-hmm. 15 years ago. You know what I mean? But like. God knew that we were the people that we all needed mm-hmm. to go through. Like, we understand each other on a different level. And it's not because of the time that we have, but it's because of how we've all grown, like, as time has gone. So, I feel like God knew what we needed at each time in our lives and who wasn't going to be judgmental or who was going to care for us and who was going to teach us what we needed to know for us to be able to get where we are and be where we are in life. Yeah. That's why I think we met. I think so, too. I think that we met to remind always be able to come back to kind of like home Mm -hmm. i feel like when we met we were our most authentic selves Mm -hmm. like we were in high school and you know when you're in high school it's like you're your most purest self Mm -hmm. and especially like in the school we went to we went to an all girls school so it wasn't no oh i'm going to school to impress boys like everybody was (laughs) themselves like 100%. 100%. So, it's like, I feel like we met in order to have a place to come back to whenever we feel like we're drifting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just come back to each other and be like, oh, yeah. I feel that. Yeah, like, yeah, I feel that. I like that. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. Thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> For me, particularly... Um, like Sarah said, everything happens for a reason, and I think um, God definitely plays a part in who you meet and why. And I think that 
he put you all in my life because he knew that I needed that bond of like that sisterhood bond, that woman bond, that that loyalty bond that, you know, because it's that's hard to, to come by these days, especially mm -hmm. with women. Like yes. especially with women. So I think that he did that um because uh, I know for sure he know he knew I needed that because there you know there were different challenges that in my life where you know different groups or organizations or anything that I, that I was in that um, where I should have gotten that sisterhood or that bond or whatever that I didn't get mm -hmm. and so he knew I needed it in my friends you, mm -hmm. know, what I, you know what I mean so um, I'm definitely grateful that he gave me y'all uh, and yeah, yeah. So what about me it's hardest for you to understand know that I really have something that is hard for me to understand about you. Uh, <laughs> I lost my mind. <laughs> that you have so many and I know you don't consider them all friends. So I'm not going to say friends. No, say what you want to say. No. Say it. It's not friends per mm -hmm. se. But it, it so it like boggles my mind because that's just not who I am. But at the same time, like me and Jordan said, at the, or like Jordan said at the beginning, you are a very personable person. You're mm -hmm. you're a people person. So like at the same time, it doesn't boggle my mind. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like you get it. Yeah, I get it. That's literally wow. what I was gonna bring it up to. I'm like, but she literally just said like, yeah. I just end up getting along with people. Yeah. Like, and um, honestly, that like I don't know for me. That is, uh, or like, a lot of the times, so like for instance, like if you were to if you were to say, you know, come to this cookout with me, I would feel anxious to go mm -hmm. because I know that you're a people person, I'm not a people person, and you may know thirty people there, and I might, I might know two people there, but I would still feel uncomfortable because. I would feel like I'm holding you back because I would feel like you would feel obligated to stay with me. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, I I don't I don't know if it's, if it's making sense. No, but it is. But, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, you just you just get along with so many. And and like I said, it's not hard for me to understand because I know you're a very personable person. Mm -hmm. um, but I guess for me, it's I'm different. not I'm not that type of person. Yeah. So it's just it's like, different. how do you do that? Like, how does she do that? Like, I wish I could be that. You know what oh, I mean? Wow, like, yeah. I, I wish I could be a people person like that or I wish I could make conversation with anybody and, and everybody that walked through the room you know what I'm yeah. saying but like you're very good at that it's a pro and a con though because it's a pro because no matter where I go like okay cool like I can make my I can force myself to feel comfortable in what because it's like pro like okay no matter where I go I can force myself to like because think about me is I always feel uncomfortable and super nervous and like my anxiety runs really high mm. when I'm in a situation where I don't know anybody or like it's a new environment like when I started this job my anxiety was through the roof like 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 I felt sick but I also want to make sure that I give especially having a spouse I want to make sure I give all my friends the time that they need mm -hmm. so I might give my friends the time that they need and my acquaintances believe that our relationship is a little bit deeper than what it really is. And they're like, well, I haven't seen you in a while and I miss you and I want to hang out. But I also want to, even though we're just acquaintances, I still want to give you the time that you feel as though you require or that you need from me as a friend or mm -hmm. an acquaintance. So, like, I have to use my calendar now because we were like, oh, I want to see you. And I'm like, okay, cool, let's hang out. But I don't want to hang out anymore. Mm -hmm. So, like... In the month of May, I'm going to block off my calendar to not see anybody. Right. If it's a spontaneous thing, okay, cool. But, like, people require too much of me, and I do not have the capacity to give people what they require. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, it's a lot. And it's fun when I, like, go out, because I can go out and I can enjoy myself. But it's a lot when I don't. But, but it, I'm not going to lie, it's not an easy thing to do, to just, like, get up and say, fuck it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not like... It's like a one, two, three. Like, especially when you, like, have been like that for a while. And the only reason I think I'm like this is because of Mimi. Mm -hmm. Mimi would take me to homecoming while we was in high school mm -hmm. and leave me on the yard. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in 10th grade. Leave you to fend for yourself. <laughs> I'm in 10th grade. And I'm on a plot. I'm looking like, 
Can somebody talk to me? I'm scared. I'm like, I don't know what the heck to do. I'm like, never been here before. Mm -hmm. You don't know me. You got a sister? I'm like, mm -hmm. they're like, her and Mimi? I'm like, yeah, they're like, I know your sister. I'm mm -hmm. like, <laughs> I'm in North Carolina. Like, how do you know who my sister is? Like, but that's just her. Like, she's a people, she's a people person. Mm -hmm. So I've always wanted to, like we were talking about earlier, finding somebody that you want to emulate. Mm -hmm. I was able to emulate her. Because that's what I loved about her. The fact so that she saw her do it so many times. I literally had to figure out how I could do it as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like that makes sense. That's literally why I'm so like quote unquote good at being a people person because I saw her do it and I was like, dang, that's so cool. Mm -hmm. You can you can go anywhere and talk to anybody and not feel like anything. Like Mimi can be in the middle of the desert and make friends with a cactus and a cactus show her the way. Like <laughs> it don't make no sense. And I just I always wanted to be you know when you have an older sister, you see that and you're like, dang, I want to be like her. Oh, She's so cool. Like that, yeah. So that's that's kind of how I ended up being how I am in a sense. But I regret it sometimes. I will say that. Regret it. Just because it's, it's. It can be tiresome. Yeah. Like having to accommodate all those so people. So many. Yeah. Because you know. at first, when we were younger, it was fun. Like you go to a cookie, you go to a party, everybody you know. You're know like, oh, I bet that'd be what cool. I'm getting whatever I want, whenever I want. Mm -hmm. But now as an adult, when I like my peace more than I like people, mm. everything is just so ever overwhelming. And now I now I understand what it is to be overstimulated. Mm. And I get overstimulated really, really, really quick. Mm. So pros and cons to everything. I feel that. I feel yeah. that. And sometimes I wish I could emulate being you, like just kind of being like to yourself. Too just having fun. your like circle. You know what I mean? Because y'all are my circle, you know what I mean? And I love this. I feel safe, I feel happy. And like, if I'm gonna hang out with somebody or I'm gonna cancel plans, it's gonna be for y'all and a few other people that y'all know already, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? So that, I love that, you know? The question that I have is like, you know how they always say like, like, for me, it's like, how do you have so many friends and like trust? Like, my whole thing is like, how do you trust all those people to have them in your energy, in your life, all that? Like, how do you, I think it's because, you know what I'm yeah, I think it's because um, everybody's not my friend. Okay. So everybody has different levels, levels. of what, okay. what I'm giving to you. There's people who own, there's people who won't ever know that I have a spouse until I post. Mm. You know what I mean? But if you, you'll see them with me. You'll see me at a cookout and be like, oh, hey, girl, I've known you my whole entire life. But it's just a surface level type okay. relationship. We've grown up together, or you're my, you're like my fake yeah. cousin because we're Nigerian type thing. Like, wow, it's mm -hmm. like a surface level thing. But like, even with you guys, you guys know certain things, but you know way more than the average person that you see me outside with. Okay, you know what I mean. So that's how you manage it. Like, I you know, just don't I know who I trust. Give all of yourself to everybody, but yeah. you're just personable with everybody. But you yeah. just let people into certain parts of you. Yeah, I don't think that I've ever been able to give all of myself to a friend. I don't think that I, and it's not like, I'm not comfortable to do so, but it's just like, now personality wise, y'all get all of me. All my friends get all of me, but like, what I'm going through, yeah, everybody gets a bit, a bit in a piece of, mm. and sometimes it's hard for me to do that, mm. you know what I mean, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What lesson took you the longest to unlearn in regards to relationships? Mm -hmm. Say, um, trusting people. Mm -hmm. Like, trusting that people have, like, my best interests and, like, giving my all to people. So, like, you just said, like, you only give pieces. And so, it took me a while to try to unlearn just giving all of myself to somebody that I thought was a friend because mm -hmm. I just learned that some people don't they're not they don't receive you and accept you they received you they receive you and judge you mm -hmm. and so it took me time to unlearn that so that I could stop being judged by my friends like and I'm not saying judge you know you like, judge in a negative way yeah. by my friends. Mm -hmm. So they could use it, use it against me later on. Later on, yeah. Mm. That's a hard one. Mm 
<laughs> Get naked, y'all. <laughs> As of 2023, I've only lost one actual friend. Mm. And that says, like, that's kind of weird to me. Yeah. Because all my friends are like, damn, I just cut this girl, cut this girl. And I'm like, dang, I haven't lost a friend. Yeah. Even when I go through things with my friends. But I'm like, is it because I'm, like, kind of strategic about how I choose my friends? Because, mm -hmm. like, even when I, like, chose y'all to be my friends, I knew what I was doing ahead of time. Mm. I, like, listened to you as you spoke. And I'm like, is this somebody that I would want to be, like, around me? Like, is this somebody, mm -hmm. like... It wasn't because y'all was cute, because y'all look cute, but like, it was, <laughs> I had to really like, even at a young age, I had to look at y'all like for who you were, like, you were goofy, but I'm like, is you being goofy enough for me in the mm -hmm. long run? Yeah. But even though like, we weren't on a deep level in high school, I still heard what you said. Mm -hmm. And I said, okay, yeah, this makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And we grew, and look how we are now. It's yeah. a completely different thing, and I love when you tell me things. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so this, that's why this is so hard for me. But I think that Based off of what I have lost, it's, um, this is going to sound sick, but like, don't always think everyone's going to be around. Okay. Um, I have the same, um, sentiments that Sarah had when she said, um, <clears throat> she hasn't really had any failed friendships except mm -hmm. the one. Yeah. I don't feel like I've had any, any failed friendships, um. I mean, I've had people that I fell off with from high school to college, but at the same time, I feel like um, the friends I had, I'm, I'm going to speak personally, the friends that I had in college, they were for that season. Mm -hmm. And then, I'm not, not college, high school, the friends that I had in high school, they were for that season. And then once I moved on to college, the ones that stayed with me stayed with me for a reason. Y'all mm -hmm. too, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um so that's what I mean when I when I when I say I haven't really had any failed friendships, but I, I I've had people that I fell off with, yes, but I I think that, you know, college and on that's when we also started to really figure out who we were. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like in and high school, we don't know who we are. Like okay. we're yeah. young, uh -huh. we're, you know, we're naive, we're, we're making just, mistakes. We're, we're, we're just really just being whatever just we are. living feel. life, we're experiencing <laughs> life. So we don't really, you know, I wouldn't even count that as like, you know, failed friendships because, you know, we're still figuring out who we are. So yeah. if we're still figuring out who we are, of course we're going to be figuring out who our friends are, like yeah. what our friendships are and what they mean to us. So yeah, it really okay. speaks to like what you were saying, like you choosing, mm -hmm. like you kind of like vetting out a person and like before you actually let them in. Cause yeah. I feel like I didn't do that. Like, I just be like, oh, you're cool right now. Okay, cool. cool. We're cool. <laughs> like, let's be cool forever. Yeah. And like, I would overlook red flags and just be accepting of people for who they are, and just not ask myself, okay, does this align with who I am? Mm -hmm. And maybe that was because when I was making friends, like you said, I didn't know who I was. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I'm. I think I'm growing and I'm changing and like my needs are different and they're like I've never really had needs from a friend but it's like now I have like needs from a friend yeah. mm -hmm. and not in a sense of I like yeah like now it's not like it's not like I need you to do anything for me it's just I need you to have a certain mindset yeah. like you were talking about like how do you speak? How do you talk? How do you handle conflict re resolution? Like, how do you deal with those type of things? Yeah. What would you say is a good characteristic of a friend that you would keep? Like, what do you look for? Loyalty. That's it. Not, no, 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 no. That's, that's amazing. Not. But that's, that's like, yeah. of course. Like, like, I gotta know that if you in a room full of people talking mad shit about me that you gonna have my back. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, you not gonna take part or you not gonna join in yeah. on talking shit about me and then come back when it's just me and you and you kicking in my face uh -huh. or acting like none of that ever happened. You know what I mean? Like, nah. 
we ain't doing that. Yeah. <laughs> it's just loyalty. We're not, yeah, like we're not we're not doing that. And I feel like everything else, like as far as good characteristics of a friend, ties into loyalty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a fact. I agree. Yeah, that's how I feel. Um, I clearly agree. But I feel like it's also like somebody who like is considerate of you as a person. Because mm-hmm. I use this as an example. Like every single time I try to tell somebody like to me what a good friend is. Mm-hmm. In high school, I told Janelle one simple thing. I said, hey, this is how I feel about what you do. Mm-hmm. Janelle said, oh, I didn't know. And I guess communication and sense. She's like, oh, I didn't know that I made you feel X, Y, and Z. And I'm like, well, you do. After that, literally after that day, Janelle has never made me feel like that. Never. Having her be able to see, like, okay, well, this is hurting my friend. She doesn't like this. Let me do better. Because I didn't know. And it's all about communication because mm-hmm. if I didn't tell her, how the fuck was she going to know? Think out for her to be better and vice versa type thing. Yeah. So that, I'm not going to lie, that kind of helped me stand 10 toes. Like, I'm going to keep this girl around. For the rest of my life, no matter yeah. what, because I know that she cares about me as a person and she's willing to do the work to change to be what I need as a friend. Mm-hmm. Cause like we were talking about this earlier, you have to be adaptable in every type of relationship that you have mm-hmm. and she was adaptable in every situation of life that we've had so far. So yeah. just somebody who, you know, also can just knows how to communicate with you. You also gotta, gotta know your friends. Like I can communicate with you and you completely different. Mm-hmm. But also, I can also com- communicate with y'all the same exact way as well mm-hmm. because of the relationship I built with you. Okay. I feel that. I definitely feel that. I agree. I agree with both of you. A friend is somebody who brings the best out of you. Mm-hmm. You feel like you could literally be yourself around that person. You could be vulnerable. That's a true friend to me. Mm-hmm. And I agree with what both of you guys said. It's like when shit hits the fan, it's like that person is going to be there to try and understand you and not judge you, but understand you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. So that's how I feel. Do you guys feel like the characteristics that you, and I mean, I want to say, well, clearly you do because we're all here, but. Do you feel like we embody that, like, as friends? 100%. Mm-hmm. Or do you feel like that's something that we need to work on better? Like, we need to do more of uh, just to, like, be a better friend to you? I feel like, yeah, 100%. Like, I feel like, I feel like, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I feel like our friendship hasn't been tested. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if it's because we're both Leo's. Or what? But I feel like our and like we're kind of similar. Mm-hmm. But our relationship has not been tested over years. Our relationship has only like literally gone like this. Yeah. But it's weird because you say not weird, but it's interesting you say that because I don't feel like everything needs to be tested. Be tested yeah. For you to like have a stronger bond. Something, I feel like that's a test in itself. Yeah, exactly. Because mm-hmm. thing is, we could have fell off. We Most that and that's a test. You know, like we could have fell off multiple times. Yeah. Like multiple. Like we, we don't have to go have through to, a OC hardship that like. Yeah. You know what I mean. We went through life mm-hmm. and still decided to choose each other. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's you know a fact. I mean? Yeah. Because like we're not friends with everybody that we were friends with in high school. But you want to know something? I feel like if we were to go through something, because I know how you do deal with other people, mm-hmm. I would feel one hundred percent comfortable. Yeah, I feel the same way with you. Just and I know I for know you. yeah, and I know for a fact, like, go like Janelle, like, yeah, she gonna, <laughs> she's going, she's gonna like, she's a real one. Like mm-hmm. at the end of the day, like, we've gone through like ups and downs, and I feel like we are at our highest point. Like, in knowing each other. Like, I feel like I even know you better than I knew you in high school. Mm-hmm. And, like, I feel like that came from, like, us breaking through a barrier. Like, like we had, I, I feel like, me personally, I feel like we had to get through that in order for us to, like, get to our next level. Mm-hmm. Of, like, under, mm-hmm. like, knowing each other. Like, I actually, like, feel like I know her a lot better than I knew her in high school. Mm-hmm. I think that some friendships do need to be tested. For you to realize, like, are we actually friends? Yeah. Or, like, yeah. are we both? Because think about it. Like, people are like, oh, you guys are twin sisters? You're like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that alone will give you a bond. You're yeah. like, bitch, we twins. Like, yes. you know what I mean? Like, we had, 
like me and Janelle's bond was crazy. Mm -hmm. Like our bond, crazy. Like, but then we we went through it, like college. And even like, you know, a couple years ago, like, not even like went through it. And when I say go through it, like, watch how you're going through it with your friends. It's not like any toxic stuff. Yeah. It's never like any toxic behavior. It's just like. It's life. It's life happening. Yeah. And it's lack of maturity. And it's like, like on different parts, like on my part, I, I'll admit it. Like I had a lack of maturity in one part. And then, you know what I'm saying? It's lack of understanding and all that. So it's like, I feel like going through that, like, it really shows you who a person is when you go mm -hmm. through it with somebody. It really, really shows you how much they mean to you on both ends. Like, mm -hmm. from the person who maybe was in the wrong, you know, per perception-wise. Yeah. You know, okay, I was in the wrong what am I going to do to win my friend back? Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not letting her go. Yeah. You know? And then if, you, if you're if you in the right, you being to receive that and be able to forgive and accept mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Yeah, from the wrong. You know? Or even if, like, you know what I'm saying? You in the wrong. You like, you know, nah, like, I will, it's not my intention. I never want to make you feel like that. Yeah. But, right. And just giving that person that understanding. So, yeah. I just feel like, I feel like because that, like, like trust is up there like i know like you know what i'm saying and that's i think that's um another reason or another way i know when someone is good for me and when i know i need someone in my life in that friend role because like you said we've been through it like we we've had our like few ups and downs or whatever but i'm the type of person i I'm a fuck it type of person. Like <laughs> I'm like fuck it. It is what it is. Like mm -hmm. like if if you're not if you are not like an important piece of my life, <clears throat> like yes, it is what it is. But that's how I knew you were one of my people. Like you are someone who I needed in my life because the times that we have had are you know, our fallouts or whatever, it's like, I need Jordan. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. where I don't want to, you know, give up my friendship with Jordan. Or I don't want to, I don't want this fallout with Jordan to be, you know, the end of our friendship. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, and that's how I know <clears throat> that you are, you know, an important piece of my life. Because anything else, like, that I don't really, like, that's not meaningful to me. Mm -hmm. I'd have just been done with it. Mm -hmm. But it's like, that's how I know like you are meant to be in my life. Like mm -hmm. You are an impactful person in my life. And I, I wouldn't want to lose the bond and the friendship that I have mm -hmm. with you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so. Are you crying? No. <laughs> I thought she was too. <laughs> no. My I feel chill. I feel <laughs> No, I forgot. Stop it. I'm so cute. I'm just here to smile at you. No, for real. But that's... I feel like I've never really heard you express that before. Me either. Mm -hmm. I think I knew it, but I never heard I feel like, like I felt it, but I never heard you, like, put words to it. Because mm -hmm. I think you say things in bits and pieces, and, like, you kind of got to, like... You're not a puzzle, but you're kind of a puzzle. Like, you just got you to listen to you enough and be like, oh, okay, this is how she feels. She's just like, person, just watch her actions. <laughs> like... Yeah, so that's how that's how I that's how I knew. Like, we kept finding our way back to each other. It didn't matter like what point we were at in our friendship. Like, we was gonna find a way to link at least once mm -hmm. a year. <laughs> like throughout college. Like, I don't care like how like weird it may have been or how like whatever. Like, we definitely found a way to like back. It must have been like a bond or something yeah. that like, like um, a rubber band or something. Mm -hmm. Like it can stretch real far, but it's gonna come it's right gonna back come right eventually. Back, yeah. I think God literally puts people in your life for a reason. Like no matter how much you fight it, like they're always gonna. If they're meant yeah. to be in your life, they're, they're gonna, gonna be. If they're back. meant, they're gonna be there. And I like I witnessed that firsthand with you. Back to that um that question you asked earlier, like the lesson. We felt like we had to unlearn. I have it now. Like I know what I I know what it was, and I with that 
I gotta give the both of you like a lot of credit, like as far as our friendship goes, <laughs> because no, for real, because in high school, coming out of high school, I, I guess, I didn't really know how like friendships work. Like, yeah, I had the friendships, but I didn't really know how to how it worked and how to keep them how to keep building on that friendship now that we are going off to separate colleges. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't the type of person to like reach out. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if we didn't talk, I didn't reach out and I and that's why I'm saying I gotta give y'all a lot of credit because I feel like y'all y'all were the glue. Mm -hmm. Like you know what I'm saying? Like y'all made it so that all these years after high school through colleges we went to three different colleges and you know living different lives moving to atlanta and just, just we're at just like different stages in our life mm -hmm. and a lot of the credit goes to y'all because i'm like i've gotten better at it definitely mm -hmm. gotten better at it but i was terrible at reaching out i was mm -hmm. terrible at you know making sure that yeah, yeah. you know we kept that you know bond or i don't know i don't know how to word it but like i think y'all get what i'm trying yeah. to say yeah for sure um like You're i said i've got i've got way better at it <laughs> okay, but sure. like coming out of high school had it not been for y'all i was like we probably wouldn't wouldn't be here right now you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying because i didn't know how to mm. like continue on with the friendship and y'all helped me get better at it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so but we just literally talked about this like a few hours ago how like the reason that we're friends is because we had different friends friend groups but we were in the same friend groups but we held the friend groups together mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so us holding the friend groups together made us hold each other like okay cool we're gonna be friends because we had three different friend groups and wow. we making these people stay together mm -hmm. so we're clearly the two pieces so now we have to be together because we're always mm -hmm. holding everything together and in this friendship i never thought about it like that i just felt like this was just like it is like mm -hmm. where this is natural do you feel like this is for the both of you in two different ways do you feel like you have the support from us as friends like as you transition in different areas of your life or do you feel like we're too hard on you but do you feel like we support you with like all your endeavors and support you as a mom Either way you can. Yeah, I do. I feel like y'all are very supportive. I feel like um, you are very, very supportive I, for me as a mom. The amount of understanding that you guys have had for me in my motherhood journey <laughs> is like crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, and I really, like, really, really appreciate that. Because the way that I acted was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> the way that I acted was just like, it's kind of like, it's almost like what you were saying, like when you were like, when you couldn't, when you couldn't pour into the relationship, how we held it together, that's how I felt. Like when I couldn't pour into our relationship, y'all poured into it mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying yeah. and that means a lot to me because it felt like okay I'm not the only one pouring yeah like this matters to y'all too not just me so that meant a lot but I feel like I had to go through that yeah to see who was my real friends and mm -hmm. who I feel like that just happens when you're pregnant though because you go through so many different changes everybody says like you see who your real friends are when you're mm -hmm. pregnant that's why because you become a completely different person mm -hmm. sometimes sometimes unlikable and then your real friends are there yeah. and they stick with you through it and they're there at the end of the not the end of the journey but the, the end of your transition tr yeah transition yeah. yeah what made you ask like do I feel like y'all are too hard on me. Like, what do you mean? Because um, we give you our opinion no matter what. <laughs> like, no matter what you go through, we're like, okay, we see what you're going through, but this is how we feel. Mm -hmm. And we don't 
sometimes I realize that we don't ask you like, do you even want to hear what we have to say? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, when it comes to YouTube, I I'm never weary of what you all have to say because I know for a fact that y'all are not judgmental. Like we, like y'all, I don't. I mean, I, and I need to hear the things that y'all that y'all have to say. Um, I, I feel what you're saying about the whole, you know, asking like, do you, do you even wanna? Um, or if you're in the we have space to say right now, like, or if you're like, are you in the headspace right now to hear what we have to say? I definitely feel that. I don't think y'all are too hard on me. Um, and I, I don't. I always appreciate you two and whenever we had like whenever we all come over we have these talks like these deep talks I always really appreciate it um there's never been a time where we have had conversations where I wasn't where I felt like overwhelmed or like I didn't want to hear it or like you all were judging me or anything like that so I feel like you're also very vocal too at least with this mm -hmm. <laughs> like um <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's like, true. I feel like you're true. very, very like, and I feel like we respect it. Like, we're like, okay, next, uh, next subject. Yeah. Yeah. We'll come back to this later because yeah. it's only natural that we are checking in. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like it's really good that you can tell us. Like, I, I don't want to talk, talk about, about that, yeah. and then we respect it. Do you feel like also like the way people um, give you advice? is part of it too like i don't know how um other friends have given you advice i'm not familiar with that but i just know personally like sometimes the delivery and the way that people talk to me plays a big role and if i want to hear what they have to say like if somebody can come to me from a place of like telling me a different perspective or whatever then that's different than somebody telling me what they think that I should do with my life. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's completely different on somebody telling me like, well, this is how I see things and this is what I want for you. And I'm just concerned for you. It just comes, sometimes it can come from a, it, sometimes it seems like people come from a more person, like personal place than it's more about them and how they feel than about, me and how I feel mm -hmm. and I can sense that and it's not that they don't love me it's not that it's not that because it's my situation and it really has no effect on them right but they love me so much they don't like to see me hurt so their mm -hmm. advice is because they don't want to see me hurt right. instead of how can I help you get through your situation right yes yes I definitely agree with that 100% so I think it's hard as a friend, but I think that as people, like, as you grow with your friends, you need to just do better. Like, we can't just be saying, well, this is how I am, and this is how I do things, because that's not going to get you anywhere. Because if your job tells you, hey, I don't like your attitude, you need to change, guess what you're going to do? You're going to be quiet and change. Mm -hmm. So, I feel like as friends, we need to, it's hard, but we do need to do better. Not us in general, but, like, just people in general, we need to do better as friends. Just, like, understanding. Yeah. Yeah. And helping rather than you know Tell always yeah interjecting yeah. your your two cents on because it's like deep down whatever whatever you're and this is just an example whatever you made me telling me i already know <laughs> like i already know time. what you're saying but it's just a, it's just the matter of really figuring out how to go about it yeah because it's not that. you gotta understand like as a as the friend, you gotta understand like you're not in the situation. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you don't have to live with that. Yeah, your friend does. So let them go through it. Like let them go through it. And like I know you're trying to control to protect, but sometimes your controlling is is being it's hurtful. It's hurtful yeah. and it's additive to the. Problem. problem like you're just adding another layer on to the stress of whatever that person is going through stressors the disappointment yeah, yes because like, it's like you making me feel like you disappointed you disappointed in me like i'm already disappointed in myself yes mm -hmm. you being disappointed in me is not making it no better yeah so i think like the biggest thing is just like under it like just understanding that's one thing that i think that like 
we have like we really really give each other it's just that understanding mm -hmm. the amount of stuff that all of us have gone through and the amount of understanding and respect that is still given mm -hmm. and the lessons that we've taught each other through what we've gone through mm -hmm. like i don't think that y'all understand like the stuff that we've gone through and we still respect there's <laughs> still respect there <laughs> I'm not trying to say too much, but like, yeah, no, you know what I'm saying? It. Like, there's still love and respect. Mm -hmm. And like, that's... Without boundaries. That, yeah. It says a lot. <laughs> and it's like, mm -hmm. and no judgment. Like, I just really hope that you guys can find some friends like this. Like a circle like this because a no judgment friend zone is like so healthy oh my gosh it's no matter what you go through they still accept you they still accept your situations they don't accept it they want better for you of course yeah. but they respect you through it regardless of whatever decision you make i don't care what decisions they make good or bad I don't care. I'm always going to respect them as people. Because I know them and I love them as people. Find people like that. And I know the same thing for me. As much stuff as I've gone through and put up with and put myself through and stuff's happened to me and da 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 da. They still respect me as a person. Like, as a woman. Because we all go through it. Mm -hmm. And no judgment isn't us saying, like, we don't care. Yeah. yeah. Not that we don't care or like that we just gonna let you do whatever you wanna do and wild out and mm -hmm. like look stupid. Like For sure. We're still gonna tell you about yourself. Yes. We're not gonna support 100%. if you say, Yeah, um it don't we don't even need examples. We're not gonna support you doing extremely dumb things that's gonna be so hurtful to you. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be there for you, we're gonna support you, but we're gonna also let you know like, hey, X, Y, and Z, you deserve better. And that's the end of it because you can only tell your friends with so much. You cannot force your friends to be outside of what they're ready to be or what they're ready to do. Like, it just don't work like that. Like, you can't change somebody. It just is what it is. But you can speak your two cents at the right time in the right way and still not be judgmental with what they're going through. Because we all go through what we go through and it's as simple as that. Yeah. I feel like it's also a matter of trusting the person too, mm -hmm. which is like, hard. And that was that was like what I was saying before, like respecting that, like a person, and trusting them. Like any decision you guys make or are making, I know like you are going to handle it. Mm -hmm. And if ever you can't handle it, I know I got your back. Yeah. Like it doesn't. If you can't handle it, okay, I got you. If you can't handle it. Two thumbs up, okay. like. And I still but I'm not, I'm not a puppet to your life. I don't have any control, any strings on what you do, Thanks. on what your what your life is. So it's like, I can give you perspective, but that's it. Mm -hmm. That's all people need. They don't need you to control them and tell them what to do, or get mad because oh, I didn't. They didn't listen to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your advice is your advice, and that's fine to give it to people, but like. People don't have to take your advice because, like, you're not their owner. You're not their creator. Like, they're not your child. Right. But if you're going to give advice, be okay with people not taking your advice. Right. Because or just don't give it. Yeah, because <laughs> your advice, in a sense, has nothing to do with like, you. Whatever they're going through has nothing to do with you. Your advice is nice. It's cute. But their situation has nothing to do with you. So mm -hmm. respect yourself to either be quiet or give advice without having any, like... Conditions. Yeah. Don't just... Don't be like... Janelle, you ain't taking my advice. I can't believe you. I'm telling you what to do. I know better because I know. Mm -hmm. I know better for myself and that's fine because I can do things for myself. But my years ago, I was actually watching a podcast and somebody was like, what if I give you advice and you listen to me and then you're completely unhappy with yourself and the decision that you make? Now I'm responsible for yes. your unhappiness. I never want to be responsible for anybody's unhappiness and I will not risk me feeling good about myself because oh i played a part in their happiness mm -hmm. for me to also have the same exact risk of them being unhappy right. so like because honestly you're doing it for yourself that's selfish mm -hmm. like it's so selfish to give advice because you want to be listened to 
yeah. because you want to be right because you want to like you know what I'm saying you want to have you want to play a part in somebody's happiness no that's selfish yeah because you're making it about you not about them. you're making it about yeah. yourself you're not making it about that person so you have that like thing in your head to be like I'm the one that got you there. I made yes, you happy. Yes, you that's what that com- you that's where that, yes, that's where that comes from because what? God. Do not put that forward. Everybody forward give me. one takeaway. We'll be able to take it and then we'll close it out. My biggest takeaway would be um, be intentional in your friendships, in your communication with each other intentional in how you are there for each other intentional just be intentional mm-hmm. say like learn your friends and be the friend that your friend needs mm-hmm. because all your friends don't need the same person i feel like y'all really just i honestly i feel like y'all just really just witness one of our heart to hearts yeah. Nah, but it's really how we be yeah. in the crib having discussions. Like every time we have a girls' night, this this how this how be. Yeah. Except I think I want to put the camera in front of us more because Janelle actually stayed up. Oh my god! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can do that too. I said eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock. Let me know if y'all want to part dos, part dos. <laughs> That's twelve, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Part, part 12. Part 12. Yeah, period. I like that. Y'all want a whole um, series? Series? Mm-hmm, I like that. The f- Don't do it. The full, full, full series. Four, four, four series. No, we can really get Which on is here 12. Some stuff. Which is Dose. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for coming. I love y'all. Y'all can do that.